Hi, today we'll be showing you our ultimate computer setup as well as the dream gaming, video editing and folding rig right here. We have two video cards, three graphic processing units total, the first processor to reach 5 GHz frequency and this is a multi-computer setup. Three monitors for a total resolution of 5760 x 1080 on Ifinity, and we're folding in the background. Okay, let's start with the keyboard. Let's turn it on. This is um, a keyboard, piano, organ, sounding. It's a Casio. Previa PX 130. It is an 88 key digital stage piano. The keys are weighted, they have a, a really good feel to it. It's just great. Here is an award we won for a CGI short film titled Quantic Dreams. This is the Avatar PC by APC. It has its own power supply. The motherboard is a Neo ITX form factor. We're using the VGA output, but it also supports HDMI. It has four USB ports, LAN port, microphone, and headphone jacks, as well as a micro SD reader. Right now it's equipped with a Wi-Fi adapter and it's connected to the left monitor in our setup. This one right here. It's connected to the LED backlit LCD monitor 23 inch by Samsung. And this is our picture frame, digital picture frame project. It runs, it displays pictures stored in the micro SD card. And it runs on Android. So it's basically an Android PC. You can also run apps. You can download apps from the Play Store. You can check your email or quickly access the internet with the web browser. So it's, it's, it's a, an Android PC that instead of using the touch screen, you use a small mouse and a small keyboard to operate. Let's run the digital picture frame application again. That's how we have it most of the time while we're not using the computer or the monitor. Okay, now we're switching the 23 inch monitor back to the main computer via digital input. And you can see the Corsair Link software that help us monitor the voltage and the temperature of different components. In the upper corner we have the MSI Afterburner which help us monitor the video card's usage and temperature. Here we have a 32 GB Optimus Prime USB flash drive by Mimobot. We also have a Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 8GB USB flash drive and a 2GB Master Chief Halo USB flash drive. They're all unopened. Here we have our uh, Sony headphones and the Blue Nessie, the USB Blue Nessie microphone. The volume is right here. You can adjust it. The monitors display the Republic of Gamers wallpaper in the background. Here we have our gamepad controller. It's a USB PlayStation 3 controller that works on the PlayStation 3 as well as on the PC. Right now we have it connected to the PC. It has analog sticks. It works great with games on the main computer. This is our Samsung 27 inch LED backlit LCD monitor. All three monitors are 1080p. We are browsing our uh, website 00x.com. 
Down there in the middle is the middle speaker for the surround sound. On the right we have the right speaker for the 5.1 surround sound by Logitech. The illuminated keyboard by Logisys. The Avatar S gaming mouse by NZXT. This right here is our Toshiba 1TB external USB 3.0 hard disk drive. And um, in this Jaffa, we hold the subwoofer for the surround sound. This um, shelf right here has our um, spare parts, some spare parts, some spare cables, manuals, user guides, drivers, and a collection of uh, Blu ray movies. Yeah, there's a couple of Blu ray movies right there. Let's close that. And this is the SRWS1 Sim Raceway steering wheel with accelerometer by Steel Series. Now on the right monitor we have the Trix software by Sapphire to monitor the video card's fan speed. This is another 23 inch backlit LED LCD monitor. Now the laptop here is connected to the main computer via the Republic of Gamers port, the ROG port. And we run the RC Tweaked software, which help us use the touch screen to modify the overclocking options at a hardware level, both the motherboard and the chipset. And we can monitor temperatures and voltage and all that. That's great. Now the right monitor is connected to the TV jockey. We turn it on and we switch the right monitor to the VGA input and that way we can watch cable TV while we're not using that monitor. Once we want to play games on all three monitors, we can switch it back to the main computer. And here we have uh, Linus. Yeah, and the back lights can change color. Blue, green, red, or we can flash all of them at the same time. Okay, now this is an external 12 times USB 3.0 Blu-ray Rider. Let's open it. It's also backwards compatible with DVDs and CDs. A faster speed. On top we have the GoPro Hero 3 camera. And on the right we have our phone, the Galaxy Note 3 with Android 4.4.2 Now the main computer this is a custom built and modded computer the case is the AeroCool X Predator X3 White Edition the motherboard is the Republic of Gamers Asus Crosshair V Formula Z motherboard. Here up front we have the Sentry 2 touchscreen fan controller and the 200mm intake fan. Also up front we have the USB 3.0 card reader and again the Sentry 2 touchscreen fan controller. The vents on top they move, they can close or open. On the side we have this green LED fan that's pulling hot air from the video cards outside the case, it's an exhaust fan. Inside we have another green LED fan that's moving there inside the case. The processor, the processor is the AMD 8 core 5 GHz Vichera processor FX9590 and this is another exhaust fan. It comes with liquid cooling, you can see the tubing. The memory is 32 GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR3 RAM. Now the video cards together have 9 GB of GDDR5 graphic memory. We have a top of the line Sapphire HD7990 with dual GPUs 
and 4096 stream processors in Crossfire configuration, hardware Crossfire with a Sapphire Radeon HD 7970 Vapor X GHz edition. It has the same GPU as the 7990, but this one is overclocked. 2048 stream processors, and together they generate 13.4 teraflops or more of computer power. This is the one terabyte Samsung solid state drive and the power supply is the Corsair AX 1200i this 1200 watts 80 pass platinum certification and it's also the first power supply to come with digital DSP control and this the Corsair link interface okay we can see the radiator again for the processor the radiator with two fans the liquid cooling for the Vichera processor, the 5 GHz processor, which is also the first processor to reach 5 GHz of frequency. We can see the stickers on the side powered by Corsair, AMD FX processor, the motherboard, the Sapphire video cards, and the Samsung solid state drive, 1 terabyte. Let's see the computer in action. We're running Windows 8 on the main computer, as well as running Windows 8 on the touchscreen laptop. Alright, so uh, let's run our video editing software, which is Vegas Pro 10. The way we have it configured is we have the timeline on the right monitor. On the left monitor we have the project media, the trimmer, and the video track effects like brightness and contrast, color correctors, etc. And in the middle screen, the 27 inch, we have the video preview of everything we're doing before we render the final video. It comes pretty handy to have three screens for video editing. It helps you see everything and place everything in a way that's convenient to you and you can just switch monitors anytime you want. Move the stuff. Now let's play some video games, shall we? All right, Team Raceway. Uh, we're gonna uh, play with the Lexus LFA, and we have the RC Tweaked software on the laptop connected to the Republic of Gamers port. That way, we're monitoring our motherboard and chipset. The car is the LFA here in white and we're gonna use the sim raceway srws1 steering wheel with the accelerometer now the wheel itself has some uh, shift lights some rev indicator lights if you see it right there it tells you when the opportunity comes to change gears we're racing in manual let's go Also, this setup is pretty good. I, I especially see that this is, is pretty good for racing games because the two monitors on the side are uh, helpful with the peripheral view and then things kind of distort a little bit and they're in an angle, so it's pretty immersive. It gives you the impression of actually driving a car, which is pretty cool and pretty good for driving simulators and racing games. The interior is pretty detailed, it looks like a Lexus LFA with the digital tachometer and with the digital speedometer and in a screen like this, is that's pretty cool. Alright, so that was our ultimate computer setup with the dream computer for gaming, video editing and folding with many firsts 
on 3 GPUs, pretty cool stuff. I really hope you like my accent. I hope you like the video. Peace and I'm out.